Well, let's get some another take on this and go over to our guest, uh, Dr. Johan Uberbacher, spokesman for the Freedom Party Tyrol. Uh, Dr. Uberbacher, great to have you with us. Now, the Austrian Interior Minister said back in December the country was well prepared for security issues around migrants, but he admitted it was impossible to provide 100% security. But the incidents happened in the main square, where you'd expect the biggest police presence in the whole city to be, don't you think? Uh, the problem is, uh, first of all, I want to wish <coughs> you and all people in Russia Merry Christmas. It's important to me to wish Russia uh, Merry Christmas. The most problem we have in Austria if, uh, is a refugee problem. We have a uh, refugee problem with uh, economical migrants. They are not refugees. They are economical migrants and they uh, don't uh, obey the law. We have in Innsbruck 150 persons from North African states like Morocco. They have no education, they don't work. They live, uh, they come to us and say we are refugees and we have to deal with them. The person in Austria do dealing with drugs, uh, sexual abuse, and so on. These people have no uh, right to live in Innsbruck. Innsbruck is the most important tourist center in Europe, in the middle of Europe. We have 50 million uh, visitors in Tyrol per year. And so it is, we have to uh, uh, strictly law, we have to more measures against this group of people. And every people who not obey our law has to go. Now, Austria has taken Hello? a tougher stance on migrants than Germany, for example. Former presidential candidate Norbert Hofer gained massive support for his stance. Let's yeah. take a quick listen. Please stay with us. Those people who don't appreciate our country, who go to war for Islamic State or rape women, I say to those people, this is not your home. You can't stay in Austria. There is this weird fence and border controls along the roads. The invaders will simply go round the fence. They will come to Austria and say, asylum. Now, how big of a blow is this latest incident going to be to the president-elect Alexander Van der Bellen, yeah. who is known for his softer approach? Yeah, uh, Alexander von der Bellen, our elected president, is a member of the Green Party, and the Green Party is a party who prefers migration, who prefers uh, uh, other world, the open world, and we say, no, stop the birds. We have uh, our country, we cannot be uh, the social liberty uh, for all the whole world. We have to decide if a people is a refugee, like the international law, he has the right to be in Austria, but not economical migrants. They have to go and we have to shut off uh, these people from Austria to push off our country because we cannot handle with them. And Norbert Hofer uh, has for, uh, has a right when he says we, we are a party for our people, we are a party for Austrian, for Tyrell, for Innsbruck, and not a party for Morocco, not a party for uh, people Dr. from Dr. Uh, Egypt and other countries. Dr. sorry to interrupt you countries. there. I'd like to ask you what you think the solution is here. I mean, hundreds of thousands of migrants are already in Europe. They can't all be deported, surely? No, uh, we have uh, international. We have to do international contracts that these people who migrants who live in Europe can go back to their home states. Uh, we can help them with uh, with money uh, and with educational uh, programs and so in their homelands. And this is the only possible uh, for Austria and for. Western Europe to deal with the crisis of migrants.
OK, Dr. Johan Uberbacher, spokesman for the Freedom Party Tyrol, thank you for your time today. Well, this is